So it looks like we've got ourselves a game against Poker Power 22. And uh, flipping a coin here, we'll see who gets to go first. We lose the flip, so our opponent gets to decide what they want. Such a big advantage being able to go first and expanded. Uh, so a bit of a shame that we lost the flip. We also mulligan showing off what we're playing, but it looks like our opponent's also mulliganed. See Lysander, Hammer, Hex. Uh, not too much indication. A few things play Enhanced Hammer. It could be a Toad deck. They're more likely to have these trollish cards. And uh, we have not the most terrible hand. I think we can do things with this, depending on our top deck. Uh, we could get the Archies here. No, we need to... We still need to somehow get Blastoise in there. We'll see what we can do off the top deck. And if our opponent uses an N, that's something you always have to worry about in Expanded. Well, not worry about, but be aware of. Uh, other forms of hand disruption, if we get hit with a turn 1 Getsis, that could be a problem for us. Uh, because we'd be stuck with water energy, and it's difficult to just dump those straight away. We'd be left top deck mode, basically. Uh, we see a Hypnotoxic early. Our opponent starts Giratina and puts Double Colorless on. That's actually way more favourable than Seismitoad. Uh, because Toad is the worry for an Archie Stoys player. We're not too worried about stadiums or tools. And they pass it over to us. Pretty slow turn from the uh, for, from our opponent. No, um, no supporter even. So... Here, I think we almost definitely have it. So, what I'm looking to do is see how we can lower the hand. We can Ultra Ball 1, 2 to find Blastoise. Ultra Ball away Blastoise in the water to find Jirachi. Um, attach the band, attach water and go. Okay. Yeah, pretty simple. One of the more easy Archies that we're going to have to go for here. As long as they're both in the deck, of course. So, looks like uh, Jirachi's in here, Blastoise is in here. Gotta search ourselves out Archie at the same time. I can see one straight away. We're in good shape here. So, looks like we've uh, found ourselves a uh, Blastoise quite nicely. And from there, just a quick message from uh, Luke Kirkham, one of the best players in the UK right now. Uh, we're going to ignore it. <laughs> Try not to read it. Um... We're cracking on, don't worry about that. We're finding Jirachi. And the water's just like slightly a waste. The muscle band, like, we prefer it on Articuno, so it's not too terrible. Um, but things you, these are the things you need to do to get Archie, so fair enough. Uh, we will grab Archie, of course. And we're going to use him. And we really want to get usage out of Blastoise as quickly as possible, find ourselves a Keldeo, find a bunch of energy, and those, that, we did a couple of those things, that's not too bad, uh, we want to get Delusion as quickly as possible, do I want to put both Keldeo down, because I can assume that we're going to get Toad locked at some point, because it's not Garbodor though, I think it's fine to put both Keldeo down, we do have um, one energy that we can attach, um, unfortunately nothing else we can do with our hand, we have a nice supporter for next turn, uh, but for here I think... Uh, we can't rush in retreat, so we will just go for the sleep, I guess. Um, because our opponent didn't do much, didn't play a supporter. It's uh, kind of likely that if he does stay asleep, that he's going to stay asleep. But who knows, maybe he still has a way into Hooper. If not, we could be in luck here. We just really don't want to get hit with Punch. Because as soon as we get hit with Quaking Punch, all, we, like, all of our 35 trainers that I think we're playing... Or that's a combination of trainers and supporters, but um, basically half the deck is unusable once Toad comes onto the field. So we see a hammer. Not too worrying until we start getting uh, punched, because we can just recover them while we still have trainers available. Um, our opponent decides to get rid of the Articuno's energy. Surprising. He goes for a laser again, maybe just to lower the hand size. For a pretty weak shaman. Nope, just a pass. Wow, what is his hand that it's that unplayable? Really good for us though. 
Uh, we will acro bike first. Uh, I think we can happily get rid of one of the Keldios. Because they don't really respond KO, so we're not going to need more than two. Um, may as well manually attach, because I'm lazy. Um, we can <laughs> go for Juniper. And we hit a couple of things. Um, I want to use Compressor first. How many waters are in our discard pile? Three. Okay. We want to get rid of some junk before we use our Trainer's Mail. So I'm going to go to the fourth energy. I don't think I'll do more than that, just in case we are starting to get hit with uh, some annoying Toad shenanigans. And we're going to put the Egg and the Blastoise in there. And then we'll use our other compressor to further thin out our deck. And um, I think I just might even throw Victini in here just because of our bench size right now. Uh, that might be one of the only things I throw in there. Uh, you know what, Victini is okay to keep. Let's get rid of a uh, compressor. And maybe the Lysander? It's in here. I can get rid of two compressors if I really want to. And I guess I could get rid of N as well. Uh, just for options. Let's do that. Seems decent. I mean, uh, we want to lower... We want to increase our chances of hitting good old Superior here. That would be fantastic. Ultra Ball's not terrible either. But we do hit Superior. Which is pretty good for us. Uh... The Scrapper can go, and we can also Propagate here. I'm sure there's a better way of doing it, but here we go. Propagate. The Scrapper isn't important. And we'll grab those four energy. Perfect for us. So, so far we're doing 50, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170. So we do have the Knockout here. Five is one twenty, yeah, and we're gonna keep attaching. Like I say, we're just gonna put it on Keldio because that way we can rush in retreat if we are hit with uh, Laser Bank or just Laser and Sleep. Um, but we also have um, a potential other Keldio even if we are hit with a Hex, and somehow he knocks out our dude. Uh, we're also gonna get use out of both of our VS Seekers now. Uh, our Lysander is prized, so. It's not like we would hold a VS for that. Um, but uh, otherwise, there's some argument to holding a VS Seeker, but not for us right now. We oh, what? Did I really just miscount? Am I actually retarded? Wow. <laughs> so dumb. We're still going to win this game, but it's just silly. <laughs> Pro plays. Don't know my two times table. That's not very helpful in Pokemon. He decides to hammer off our bench. <laughs> Why? Why? Why would he do that? Okay. We're going to get hit with a Chaos Wheel. That's absolutely fine. The thing is, it's a pro play, pro play to actually get three prizes off Articuno and put him on a clock. It could actually work. Oh god, I'm gonna I'm gonna luck sack this guy. Miss plays turning into pro plays. Uh, like we still have the attack of Keldio if we miss with this Articuno. Don't want to end him because he's clearly got a bad hand. So we'll just Juniper. Oh my goodness. Uh, so I can pay retreat and get some energy. Oh, I don't want to dig too low into our deck at this point. Hmm. I think it's fine just to get three energy off this. Let's pay retreat. Don't forget, you can, of course, pay retreat um, to get these uh, waters in there. Even though you do have rush in, it's not always the best option because times like this, where we can uh, take full advantage. I think I'm just going to kill the acrobike here because I don't want to dig too far into our deck. 
Uh, we're going to take Fliptini just for the sake of it, really. Um, not even sure if I want to bench it. Like, we don't need to bench it this turn. Uh, but... Why did I use the Ultra Ball there? I was trying to use Superior. I'm just busy talking. Uh, but yeah. I'm also going to put the... Oh no, we can't put the Floatstone on because of uh, Chaos Wheel. So we're just going to kill the... Ace. And we're going to get some energy back. And we're going to deluge some more. So we're actually threatening like to bench him and to kill the uh, shaman next and like to just win on prize trade alone. Uh, we want to use VS Seeker first just in case we are punched. Somehow our opponent has had a terrible hand and just had nothing to do. But Archie Stoys is one of the best decks at uh, punishing these sorts of things. Slow starts and such. So uh, we don't need any heads to kill him because we have Muscle Band anyway. And he only has 20 HP left. But it turns out we hit 160, which is kind of cool with Articuno. And look at this, three prizes. It's as if I meant it. <laughs> uh, we uh, did well off those prizes. No Lysander though. We almost made it look like we meant it. <laughs> we got away with it, guys. <laughs> Is he going to scoop in style? Sky return for style points. Go on. Yeah! Great win. So, uh, we beat um, Totina just because they had nothing. And uh, even though I played very badly, uh, we got the win. So, there we are. Hope you enjoyed that battle, guys. It was kind of fun. Didn't really show off much except for the explosive speed of an Archie. We got it quite easily, but our opponent didn't put up much of a fight, even though they went first. And it's kind of worrying when your opponent goes first. They can use Getsis, which is often a um, card that's used. They can develop a Vile Plume. They can uh, put Wobbuffet in the active position. There's a whole bunch of things that people can do on the very first turn that can really hurt an Archie Stoist deck. Um, but fortunately, our opponent didn't have the hand to do that, and we took control of the game very, very quickly. And from there... We had just the basis to go on and win the game quite easily. So, hope you enjoyed. Archie Stoys is one of the top decks still, even though it has obvious downsides. Once it does get rolling, it wins a lot of the time. So, there it is. Hope you enjoyed. It's been Jerry from Omnipoke. Tell me what you guys think about my face in videos, because hopefully it'll be a more permanent feature. So, there we are. See you guys next time.